I started last year having the ringing in my ears and it was intermittent. So it wasn't, it wasn't bothering me as much. And then about September of last year, it started 24 seven and it continued till about March, about the same level. And then March, whatever reason, it ramped up and it was really loud and it was causing me not to sleep. Um, it was just becoming noticeable. It was to the point where it was interrupting what I do. So I knew I needed to do something about that. And I previously had seen the commercials for Sound Relief and I did my research and um, found that this was the place that felt that um, they were willing to help people like me that could at least make my life manageable in order to live with the sound. Mm -hmm. First of all, the office is amazing and um, inviting and relaxing. And that's the best part for me. I, um, I'm not a fan of going into doctor's offices. And so the receptionist immediately friendly and then most definitely working um, with you, Sarah, was amazing. You made everything easy. Uh, the process was easy. You explained all the options. You gave me all the uh, background that I wanted to know. And then I got to sit back and freely make my own decision and figure out what was gonna work best for me. The treatment has been amazing. Um, for me, the um, learning how to cope with it and learning how to shift gears and realize that the sound, the and I have wind chimes, and so my wind chimes have become kind of my mantra, and that's how I cope now, is that I focus on that, and I don't hear the sounds of the, um, of the tinnitus very often. Every once in a while I do, but I would say in the beginning it was 100% noticeable, and I think I'm about 40% now somewhere where, or 30% even, where it's noticeable every once in a while. And that's just because of some situation that takes my mind away from it and then it's there, but then I shift. And so it's been good. Understanding the process of how the, um, the wind chimes work in conjunction with my brain function and understanding that how the brain is now learning how to create the tinnitus and put it into the background is amazing for me. It has um, shifted the noise being forefront, whereas now I hear the wind chimes and sometimes I don't even hear either of them. Sometimes it's just a function of, I'm used to the sound and I've put it as background noise the, the tinnitus as the background noise and the wind chimes come forward or sometimes, like I said, I don't, I don't hear either of them. It's just a beautiful process. I think that I'm able to manage it now. It definitely, I don't have sleepless nights, they're gone. Mm -hmm. And for me, if this is the management tool that I can use going forward, I'm gonna continue to use it for the rest of my life. And um, the other benefit is that I have had a hearing loss and so, being able to have the hearing aids in as well has been able to help me with that, coping with that um, loss as well as, as the tinnitus. So yeah, I, I view the future as much brighter than I thought eight months ago. So I've actually already talked to several people <laughs> who have the same thing that I do and I've shared with them my story uh, I've given them your website. I've given them the phone number to have them come here and it, that's their choice. But I, I think it's been a wonderful experience and they've seen me change through it. And that's the best thing I tell them is that I, I think I'm a pretty good model for what, where I was and where I'm at now. And so I'm hoping that other people choose this route versus just trying to live with it and make and manage it.